Hi, my name is Melanie Thorley and this is MJT Law and today we're going to talk about the Small Business Fair Dismissal Code. To do that, I'm just going to jump onto Google. I'm going to Google Small Business Fair Dismissal Code. Wow, that didn't help at all. Sorry about that guys, I'll write it out. Ah, looks like it's actually found it. So you find this on the Fair Work Commission website and it just goes through the process. So what we're going to do is we're going to, what it does, Small Business Fair Dismissal Code is designed for employers who are a small business. Now that is a small business, a small business uh, as defined under the Fair Work Act is a business that has less than 15 employees. So that's 14 employees or less. Now, there are a number of things that an employer who is a small business can be exempt from. Uh, one of them is paying out redundancy pay. And another one is, it says in the unfair dismissal regime, if, it is a, if the business is a small business and it is complied with the code, then it is not a unfair dismissal. So that's something to think about if you are a business and you want to comply with the code and you want to dismiss someone and as an employee um, who's been dismissed from a small business. So what we're going to do just to assist is we're going to bring up the small business checklist. This is a document called the full, um, about the small business fair dismissal code <clears throat> and again it says here fewer than 15 employees um, and a small business employee cannot make a claim for unfair dismissal in the first 12 months of their engagement. And that means that if you've been employed for 12 months, less than 12 months, then you are not eligible as an employee to file an unfair dismissal application. But this code just helps small businesses get it right more often. Yeah, it talks about um, it is, it is fair for an employer to dismiss an employee without notice or warning when the employer believes on reasonable grounds that the employer's conduct is sufficiently serious to justify immediate dismissal. Now that's got to be quite serious. And they've said uh, serious misconduct includes theft, fraud, violence, and serious breaches of the occupational health and safety procedures. Look, it's quite rare that it's serious enough for immediate dismissal, but just remember that there are some things there on the list that could mean that. Now. The Small Business Fair Dismissal Code checklist is actually quite comprehensive. It goes through, from start to finish, how to comply with the code. Are you a small business? Um, how long has the employee been employed for? Did you dismiss the employee because the job, job wasn't required to be done by anyone? Now that's technically a redundancy, and then it says, if yes, did you comply with the requirements to consult with redundancy? So it's really just a step through process to help employers get it more right more often. And now it talks about dismissal, about misconduct, and it just goes through some of the things here. So if you find, and there's a declaration at the bottom, so if you're an employer, who wishes to dismiss an employee, we recommend that you download this form, uh, you follow it, tick it off, sign it and date it. So you've got to put it on the record of the employee once, you know, on the employee's record. So if, you, if required, you can bring that up later and say that I complied with the code. Now compliance with the code is obviously more complicated than that, but at least you're getting it more right more often. And as an employee, it might be a good idea if you are an employee of a small business, um, just to keep this in your back pocket, just to make sure that they have done it right. Just to make sure that all the steps, all the, all the reasonable and probable steps have been taken if you are being dismissed. If you have any questions about being dismissed or you have any questions about dismissing an employee, let me know. We can help you there. Thank you. For, hopefully this has been of help to you today. Uh, remember the Small Business Fair Dismissal Code is found at the Fair Work Commission. Uh, and we found it just by Googling uh, Small Business Fair Dismissal Code, but you could just as easily go into the Fair Work Commission's website and download it from there. Hope, hope this has been help and uh, thank you for watching.